Hi hey everyone, welcome to the Midiception Show. My name is Fariba, and today we actually got a brand new trailer for Wonka. Now, a couple months ago, I had actually done the reaction for the first one, that one established the whimsical world of Willy Wonka, the version that Timothy Chalamet is going to play, and the first one really established that the character, the type of character that we're about to see with uh, Tiffany Chalamet's version is that it's gonna personality wise it's gonna be far more in line with Gene Waller's version where it's a bit more subtle it's not as creepy as a Johnny Depp version but the storytelling does add a little bit of that backstory giving you know Willy Wonka his origin story in, the, in a bit of a way that we saw with Tim Burton's version so we do get a little bit of a little bit of both of what we've seen from the past to being presented in this recreation of Willy Wonka's story and I mean Hopefully going into the second trailer, probably going to get a bit more of that detail. Again, the first one was just really setting up kind of that world building, that the environment that we're about to see with this William Wonka version didn't dive too deep into sort of what is going to be the motivations, the intent for Timothy, Timothy Chalamet's uh, William Wonka. And I mean, I would imagine that we're going to deep far more into this one. Now, of course, uh, if you've been reading more about the Wonka trailer and how people reacted to it, it's definitely been a bit more of a mixed bag. I mean, I'm, I'm still kind of trying to figure out whether or not, like, is this going to be good? Is this going to kind of be underwhelming? I, I mean, I'm still going to keep my mind open to seeing this film because, I mean, I mean, the movie comes out in about two months from now, and I think that there is still a lot of potential for it. I think Timothy Chalamet is a pretty, you know, interesting casting to play Willy Wonka, especially now that especially for the fact that he now has to live up to the performances from Gene Wilder and um, Johnny Depp and I think there is potential for this film I mean hopefully as as I get to seeing the second trailer that maybe we'll see a bit more of improvement in the storytelling and what the story itself can align but but yeah, I think that, you know, we'll see more of that in the second trailer. Maybe the second trailer will be improvement for the first one. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right down into the second trailer for Wonka. <laughs> oh, the bull. Oh! Gotcha! So you're the funny little man who's been following me. Funny little man. How dare you? I okay. will have you know that I am a perfectly respectable size for an Oompa Loompa. An e Oompa what now? In fact, in Loompa Land, I am regarded as something of a whopper. They call me Lofty. Sorry. Lofty. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, greetings to you all. My name is Willy Wonka. You see, I'm something of a magician. Prepare to be amazed. Tape up. <laughs> Inventor. May I present Willy Wonka's wild and wonderful wishy-washy Wonka Walker? Please don't make me say that again. And chocolate maker. The best chocolate in the world. Ooh. He's good. Too good. And anyone can afford them. Even the... The poor? What? He doesn't like it when people say <laughs> oh, poor. God. What? Oh, God. Wonka. Okay. Do not sell chocolate in this town! You're gonna get more than a bonk on the head. I love a bonk on the head. What is with me today? You should stand up to those bullets. Give them the old one, two. Oh, okay. I got an idea. <laughs> Where do we start? Making chocolate, of course. Run away! Every good thing in this world started with a dream. <laughs> So you hold on to yours. I guess it's time to change the world. Oh, wow. Okay. Bumpa, lumpa, lumpa, <laughs> diddy. I'm not in premium economy. of me. Good night, sir. I am going flat. <laughs> okay. Huh. What is it? Nothing. Well, it's obviously something because you said, huh. Forget it. Very well. Huh. Oh, you did it again. Tell me what it is or I shall poke you quite viciously with a cocktail stick. Interesting. Okay. 
So that was the second trailer for Wonka, and this one's very interesting. So kind of just just to break down a little bit, uh, the second trailer definitely gives a bit more of the premise of what the story is going to be about. It seems pretty clear at this point that there's going to be this competition in terms of the chocolate industry, right? So the fact that you know Willy Wonka, who is basically just you know a new hotshot who's coming to town and is really impressing people and even having to come and even competing with you know his competitors with the pricing the chocolate the quality of chocolate it seems pretty clear that he is going to be a target in this movie because of the fact that you know he is starting to kind of become a very you know uh a, a, a uprising uh chocolate uh entrepreneur in his town so that is pretty clear at this point i think that was briefly mentioned in the first trailer this one goes really deep into sort of that arc that that um that rising action of what this is going to be about so we got that out of the bag i think one of the things that really really surprised me is that it's, it's about the oompa loompa um i feel like in terms of the oompa loompas we never really got to see much of the personality of these these little creatures uh leader like these little beings um because we just see them in the background and they're just workers at Wonka's factory and that's all we ever really see them of. Yeah, I mean, there are points here and there where we see them and they'll probably, you know, we can get a little details of how they can be different. But this one is very unusual in that, you know, the way that they really present the, uh, Hugh Grant's Oompa Loompa in this one he has a personality uh like we actually get to know more about what what this oompa loompa is so this is definitely very it definitely differentiates itself from the previous two versions and that they really trying to give a bit more of a character of who this oompa loompa is um, i know that in the first trailer when it came out a lot of people were very at unease with hugh grant's version of oompa loompa it is far more cgi than actually having a real you know actor with dwarfism to play the character um, and this one's like okay well they're just gonna have hugh grant just projecting his character using visual effects to manifest their version of of the oompa loompa so i know there was a little bit of that controversy there um this one again like i mean i think i mean that th the argument for it is warranted i mean there is a lot of reasons why you know a lot of people were upset about it and i think that that's definitely one of the biggest topics going to this film is just the how they're uh how they're you know basically creating the whole oompa loompa character because it is very important i mean this is a very important character in the books and the movies like if, if it's not for the oompa loompas that william wonka won't be able to operate his chocolate factory and here it's like okay now we're get to see a bit more of that deep relationship between william wonka and the oompa loompa and what led to this collaboration for the chocolate factory so i, I see how they're taking a lot of the different approaches in this movie um, and that's very clear from the second trailer. The second trailer, we get to see more of Hugh Grant as the Oompa Loompa and seeing a bit of his character. Very unusual because he does seem a bit more out there. Like he is very opinionated. Um, so that's a very interesting bit to see. I think they also kind of change a little bit of how they meet. Like I know in the second one, uh, with the Johnny Depp version that the oomp that uh, Willy Wonka met the Oompa Loompas when he was looking for cocoa beans in that island. Uh, I can't recall if the Gene Wilder version ever, you know, talked about how he met the Oompa Loompas. And I can't really remember the book version, but but this is a very interesting uh, diversion from the books and the movies, seeing how they're establishing that relationship between Willy and Oompa Loompa. So, and I think he even said Lofty. So very interesting take so far. That's definitely the one that I would say really stood out to me the most is how they were playing out the Oompa Loompa in this movie, as well as what, uh, you know, kind of the dilemma that Wooly Wonka has to endure in this in this sort of his prequel story because again he is just a rising chocolate entrepreneur who is just wanting to get his ideas out really trying to make his people happy and enjoying chocolate the way that he does and you can see how innovative he is we're seeing little bits and pieces in there in the terms of the visuals so uh very interesting take that we're seeing this time around and how they're executing the storytelling kind of the dynamics as well as just the characterization of some of the characters we still get the quirkiness of course of 
Timothy Chalamet's version of Willy Wonka. So that's at least still there for us. Um, again, giving off a bit more of, I feel like it's kind of a balance between Gene Wilder and Johnny Depp. Like there is that quirkiness, but also there's a bit of that subtleness where it's not edging too close to creepiness, but but this is like more of a balance of both versions and we're seeing that more of in the second trailer as well like he's just someone who really wants to you know sell chocolates because he loves chocolates and he wants to spread that joy to people around him so that's something that's very distinctly clear in this second trailer i think it is slightly better than the first one in terms of my impressions of how i feel like it's going to be in terms of quality i'm still kind of you know i'm still questioning a little bit just because again uh I mean, it definitely gets off a bit more of a Christmassy joy vibe. So, I mean, it works off for the fact that this is releasing during December. So it, it makes it, it, it really kind of integrates itself really well into that spirit of Christmas and especially during its release. So it, it really works out in that instance. But in terms of like the actual storytelling and its execution and whether or not this is going to be a really worthwhile story, I, I'm still kind of like, I'm not fully, uh, you know, I'm not saying that, oh, I'm right on it, that I, uh, how would I describe it? Like, I'm not necessarily saying that I'm very in tune with what they're presented so far to the point where it's like, oh, it's a must watch for me. Uh, I mean, I'm still going to watch it, of course. I, I want to see the actual final product and how they manage to actually, you know, kind of divert how we've seen a Willy Wonka story from the past, as well as the books. But, um, but this one's going to be very interesting, right? And I think that, Having seen the first two trailers so far, I mean, I'm not saying that it looks like a bad film. I just think that so far, I'm just not, uh, I, I just want to say I'm like, oh, I'm really want to go and see this film. Like, I'm dying to see this film. Like, I am not feeling that sort of impression as of yet, but I'm still going to watch it, of course. And I mean, hopefully, like, I mean, maybe it's just because the trailers are just, again, uh, I mean, it's just giving us kind of the vibes of what the story is going to be about. I mean, we, again, we've really seen the story twice before. Um, and so maybe it's just the trailers that are just not doing justice for the movie. But uh, I mean, hopefully when I do see the film in December, that it really kind of blows my mind. Like, again, I'm not really too blown by the trailer itself. Like, I mean, it seems like a really interesting trailer. And um, and the movie looks interesting based on what we've seen in like the glimpse and sneak peeks that we've seen so far. Uh, again, it's... I I think it's just just because of how how it sets up its atmosphere that because it's so different from the other two in terms of like what it's trying to set up that I'm not really too uh I, I like I mean, yeah, I'm not really too uh you know I, I'm not gonna say it's like my, my most anticipated movie going into the fall so but again I feel like there's still a lot of potential for it I'm still looking forward to it I think the second trailer does give a bit more of a better idea the visuals look pretty great i will say for one thing we do get a little bit of a gloves i think what looked like his factory at the end um right there like we saw the rainbow i think it looked like a rainbow river or something and then some of the chocolate stuff and again earlier in the trailer where he is presenting kind of his first sample of chocolates to the townspeople and um really trying to get the attention of his chocolate so it's gonna be a very interesting take going into this of course again um I'll see when it comes out in December. I think there is potential. I just, and the second trailer does give a much better detail of what the story is going to be about, what's going to be, you know, going to happen in terms of William Walker's story. We do get a little bit of a glimpse of the fact that they're going to probably go a bit deeper into his childhood or um, his, you know, his relationship with his parents and how they influenced him. We see Sally Hawkins, who I believe plays William Walker's mother. So there, I mean, it seems that there's going to definitely going to be a bit more of that emotional bit that the Tim Burton version tried to do, but I feel like we can maybe get a bit more of that. And I think that if they can really uh, go deep into the emotional aspect of Willy Wonka's story, then I think this would actually be a very worthwhile inter uh, iteration of Willy Wonka's story. So yeah, I think the trailer, the second trailer looks much better than the first one. I'm still not saying that it's like my, I, I'm going to, I'm going to go die for it to go see this movie. Um, I think there's other films I'm, more excited to see than really Wonka um but and the whole and the whole bit with the Oompa Loompa and seeing a bit more of Hugh Grant it's a very interesting take uh again I'm going to keep my mind open when the movie does come out in December but but yeah I think so far it's 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 getting better I would say it's getting better I'm not going to say I'm totally again I'm totally in tune with it but we'll see when it comes out in December so yeah 
that's all I have to say about the second trailer for Wonka. What are your thoughts now having seen the second trailer? Do you think it is an improvement from the first one? Uh, what do you think about how they're really executing the whole approach to the Oompa Loompa character? They definitely gave him a bit more of a character, a bit more of a character, a bit more of a personality with Hugh Grant's version than we've ever seen before in the other two versions. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you still not like the casting? Because that's definitely been a bit more of the controversial bit with this movie. What do you think about the visuals so far? I think they pr they look pretty cool for the most part. I like the little bit that we saw with the actual chocolate factory. But what do you think about the visuals? What do you think about the atmosphere? Again, it definitely feels a bit more of like that Christmas vibe, that, you know, that joyful kind of vibe than really what we saw with the other two versions where it's a bit more subtle and nuanced, especially the Tim Burton version. Um, what do you think about how they're going to execute the story? How it's going to be very different from the other two versions? What are your impressions about Timothy Chalamet's performance as he's, you know, has that he's shown so far in these trailers? I think he looks pretty good so far. Again, giving a bit of a mix of both uh, Gene Waller and Johnny Depp but also being a bit more balanced and being more central in his portrayal like he's still eccentric but he's not creepy but do you like that I mean do you think this is a very a fruitful take of his Willy Wonka version or maybe you just you think that this might still be a miscast the fact that we didn't get to aside from the Oompa Loompa song we didn't get any other musical redemptions which I was a bit surprised about so Oh yeah, I think, I believe they're going to put some new music in this movie. What are your impressions about that? What what are you anticipating about it? Are you getting some bad vibes with how they're going to try and play off with the whole musical stuff? Or are you still going to keep your mind open? Let me know what you have any other thoughts about the second walk on trailer. Let me know in the comments down below and make sure to like and subscribe.